Hello there folks and welcome to Chris Hall Motorcycles in Doncaster and welcome to the channel. Uh, probably the most legendary tourer um, known to man, shall we say. Uh, this is the Honda Goldwing. Um, is there a more luxurious bike on the market? I'm not sure but uh, I mean this is 24 years old. This is a 2000 plate GL1500 and it's yeah just wait to listen to the spec of this bike and yeah so like i say it's a 2000 plate gl 1500 gold wing it's only done 12,735 miles from new it's a uk bike not an import so uk bike and it's only had one previous owner from new amazing absolutely amazing got tons of paperwork which we'll go through in a minute um before we get on to all the spec and stuff let's just chuck some facts and figures at you so this particular bike has got eight service stamps in the book and the last one was at 12,728 so literally seven miles ago and the belts were done um so yeah uh, it's very well looked after it's been someone's pride and joy it's got some gorgeous extras on it um, and before I get too into this video, price. I never ever put the price in the video, the price is always in the description below. Loads of people still message me, where's the price? It's always in the description below, always. Um, we have various algorithm reasons why we don't put the price in the video. And uh, the main reason, of course, is if we reduce the price or alter the price, I don't need to redo the video. So, um, or even if I put the price up, particularly on some of the classics, you know, like Vincent's and stuff like that, price is still increasing. So anyway, enough of that. I've got that off my chest. Let's move on. So uh, yeah, let's have a good walk around this stunning Goldwing. And it is a stunning example. So yeah, start at the back of the bike. As always, folks, the colour, gorgeous blue. Uh, it's got this gorgeous pinstripe in light blue around the... Uh, around the bike as well which looks so classy so smart um so we've got this large top box here rear rack on it we've got the panniers left and right um if you didn't know about opening these up just under here you've got three levers as it were three switches a left a right and a center um i'll just move these armrests out of the way so i can just show you this uh, inside the top box excuse me a second folks so i'll just open this up uh, in here, loads of you know, all the cables for the, I think that's all for the um, intercom system. These are the belts that have just been done. They're the original ones. And also in here, we've got the original foot pegs, the pillion pegs, because it's got little running boards on it now, so which are rather nice. So I'll just close that back up. Everything works on this bike as it should do. As we work our way forward on this bike, you've got these gorgeous chairs like armchairs on wheels as they call them uh, you've got the armrests you've got the uh, back the riders backrest the drivers backrest with the pouch on the back and what have you all present and correct really nicely well looked after got these gorgeous crash bars down here with all the chrome on top of the pannier looking absolutely beautiful so this is an se version uh, as we work his way forward on the bike, I'm just going to have a quick walk around the, the bodywork. As you can see, you've got these small running boards now instead of the pegs for the pillion. Just makes it a little bit more comfortable. But what a lovely bike. I've got spotlights with crash bars up front. We'll get to the controls and all that lot in a minute. You've got this gorgeous chrome frontage which you see my reflection in, which I apologise in advance. <laughs> Coming down again on this front mudguard and front tyre, loads of life left in that as well, not that old. Gorgeous front mudguard and these lovely chrome wheel covers that just sets, it sets the bike off really nice. But this is such a lovely example, it really is. We don't get loads of gold wings, but when we do, absolutely, uh, this one is a... A very nice example as you can see and uh, oh I forgot to point that out to you it's fitted with these very nice black widow exhausts um, which sound nice they do it's got a real nice deep throat throat to it well these nice chrome covers here uh, stop stop the heel of the pillion scratching anything 
But yeah, what a nice bike. What a lovely bike. Right, so what spec-wise, this bike is the reverse model. Uh, I don't mean it's going backwards all the time, it just means it's got reverse. We've got, in fact I've got key in my pocket actually. It does have a full gold wing tape deck. And when I say tape deck, I mean tape deck. Uh, I've just undone this cover slightly so that we can take that off and I can show you that in its full glory. Oh, drop the key. Can pick up this key. So yeah, it's got the full tape deck there. We've got cruise control. Bear in mind this is a 2000 plate bike and we've got cruise control on there, but we've got everything that you need just to set off riding down to the south of France. Wow, beautiful. You've got these cub you've got cubby hole, you've got one here, you've got these little pillion cubby holes as well. Just such a well laid out bike. So before we do a start up and I show you that side of it, uh, paperwork wise, I've got two keys. We've got a service book with eight stamps in it, like I say, and it's just been serviced wherever the service stamp is. Can't find it now. Had it all set up, but it all goes wrong, doesn't it? And the service intervals are fairly good as well. You know, they're uh, fairly, uh, so yeah, uh, where are we? 30th of the 1st, 24, 12,778 miles, new belts done. So uh, at DNR Motorcycles down in Hereford. Uh, we've got a full service manual here and a Haynes workshop manual there. Loads of old MOTs. Everything stacks up as it should do. So lovely, lovely bike. So let me just, uh, we've got the immobiliser on there as well, which is always nice. Let's put the key in. Oh, how can you can never do these things left-handed? So yeah, it's fitted with a stereo. It does work perfectly fine, but obviously as soon as I start playing music out of that, YouTube will just cut the video for, you know, because uh, I don't have the rights to the music and all that lot. Um, if I press eject, I will supply this bike with a free Bob Marley and the Whalers legend uh, tape. So if you, if you need one, that's not a bad tape to have, shall we say. So a bit of Bob Marley going on. Um, just put that back in there. So it will come free with a Bob Marley tape. Uh, and that all works absolutely lovely, sounds great, etc, etc. So I'm just going to do a start-up of this bike now. Uh, do I need a little bit of choke? Let's just give it a little bit of choke. How good does that sound? That's a cold start-up on this uh, exceptional bike from Honda. How throaty does that sound? I'll turn that off. It's low on fuel, as you can see, as always, as every bike that comes into the building is. So, yeah, what a beautiful bike. It really is absolutely stunning. So, if you want to, um, the bike will be supplied with a full MOT. It will go through the workshop for a full check over before it comes out and it will be supplied with a warranty with ourselves. I can offer finance on this vehicle, I believe. <coughs> I can also offer nationwide or international delivery if required. And I will also look at a part exchange as well. Uh, <coughs> and like I was saying earlier on in the video, if you want to know how much this vehicle is, there is a price in the description below along with a link to the website where you'll find a ton of photos um, in high definition showing various parts of the bike where you can have a bit of a closer look at. <coughs> now obviously, um, if you want to know anything else about this vehicle, you can give me a call on 01302 760 967 or you can email me chrishallmotorcycles at googlemail.com. Alternatively, if you do fancy popping down and having a view at this bike in person, you are, of course, more than welcome. But as always, please call ahead if you are travelling, just to make sure the bike is in stock and available. But that is a lovely bike. That is a well-cared-for, well-cherished example of an absolutely legendary touring bike. And, uh, yeah, to be a one previous owner with only 12 and just under 13,000 miles, it's a... Uh, not seen very often that not seen very often um 
So other than that folks, uh, I'm going to sign off. This video has been far too long as always. Get rabbiting, don't I? Um, but other than that, thank you very much for watching. If you're still here, you obviously like motorbikes, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. because So many of you aren't subscribed to the channel that watch these videos. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, tick that bell for notifications. I really, really, really do appreciate it. And remember, if you're passing Doncaster and want to look at motorbikes, the brews are on me. Come and see us. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe, stay safe out there, folks. And until next time, cheers.